now this uh, after we remove the oxygen sensor from the car it's time to test it um, those four wire oxygen sensor here uh, you see they are four two blacks two blacks one white one uh, blue very simple so let's do first hold, hold this one now I have my multimeter on ohms if I touch to both uh, probes it's almost reading like almost zero but this is so sensitive so when you touch them like that resistance it reads almost like zero zero point one eleven okay now let's see there is first we have to test the resistance all oxygen sensors they have a resistance so let's do the first see the two black two black wires I'm I'm connecting the, here the connecting both at the two black wires the reading is 13 13.65 or 63.62 okay so there is resistance here if you if the, there is no resistance if there is no resistance at all that means this is very bad and need to be replaced 100% now the first test to, to test the oxygen sensor resistance there are some resistance here each car oxygen sensor reads different number of resistance this one this particular one for 2000 Lexus RX300 reads as you see here 13.62 13.62 so there is resistance that means this could be this oxygen sensor uh, there's a good sign but also there is a second test with the heat that's why I'm getting a torch to heat up this sensor to read the voltage so to read the voltage um, this oxygen sensor it is after the uh, catalog converter not before after so that means this is uh, bank uh, 2 uh, bank 2 I think yeah oxygen sensor 2 bank 2 um, uh, this one the however maybe the before color converter it can read different uh, different uh, reading you can also search on Google for the specific car and the oxygen sensor resistance reading they will tell you there is a, like a list each oxygen sensor with a specific resistance reading for this particular one it has a 13.6 uh, check again for resistance Okay, 13.6. Those are the two black wires. Uh, two black wires. The resistance. The blue and white, or any other colors, in, uh, like beside the two black. The two black are resistance. Any other color, or the blue and white, those are the voltage. When the oxygen sensor uh, reaches a specific temperature, is sent voltage so those are for the voltage and that's one thing we're gonna test right now now we have to go to voltage uh, voltage uh, DC this is AC DC you can also use a uh, auto mode if you have a multimeter auto okay or you can use any multimeter even this one will work very simple see this is uh, DC and, and AC go to the lowest one 20 volt DC this one however is auto okay that's AC and this DC voltage okay just like that and let's do the voltage test now those are the uh, wiring connector let's connect them uh, to hold this one like that it's a also a good way to have some cl a small clamp like this one you know it works good for this type of death test one here and one here you know just like that see if we do it yeah it should be like that here we go and you can connect those wiring here one here and one here okay now it's time to test the voltage let's heat up this one a little bit watch the um, this one I'm gonna heat up 
and then you can watch temperature. That I mean the the more temperature I get on this uh, oxygen sensor, this the voltage should read more. If it doesn't read any voltage, that means the sensor is bad. If it reads more like voltage, that means also the sensor is bad. So the reading must be like about one volt, something like that. Right now, not even uh, one volt. See the 0 0.6 volt. So let's see until we reach one volt. We remove this. Now, see the voltage dropped. See that? Okay, now let's do the test again. Heat up the, the oxygen sensor. This uh, voltage should be increased. While I'm heating, you see, now it's uh, one point volt, something like that. Okay. As soon as I remove the torch, temperature should drop. You see that? It's dropping a little bit slow because the sensor is still hot. This temperature should drop now slowly, you see? So I think this oxygen sensor is working. This is basically typically way to test your oxygen sensor out of the car. Uh, there is another way to test it while the oxygen sensor in the car but since we removed it now it's easy to test it Temper uh, the voltage is dropping temperature is, is dropping too as soon as i uh, until reach almost zero as soon as this is cold there will be zero voltage but again the voltage not must not exceed more than uh one volt okay um let's see again uh, of course if i put more heat See the voltage is starting increasing right away. See, see that? More heat, more voltage. Less heat, no heat, no voltage. See that? Let's do it again. Right away. See, there's a voltage. Less heat, no heat, no voltage, or almost pretty much zero volt. This oxygen sensor should be good to go. It's working good. 